what's happening around the world. It's time for another serving of News Bites. 最近国内外发生哪些大事？午餐搭配 ISRT News Bites， 慢慢的一口接一口，吸收最新时事和趣闻。Well, hello there. You're listening to News Bites. I'm Trevor Tortomasi, and I'm Paz Bueno. In today's news, an asteroid gets an indigenous name. A trial starts for lab-grown red blood cells, and blue whales swallow too much plastic. Stay tuned for more on those stories coming up next. Top of Taiwan. 以原住民语命名为日月潭的小行星。Asteroid given indigenous name for Sun Moon Lake. Did you know you can name an asteroid? You just have to be the first to discover it. There are actually quite a number of asteroids discovered by Taiwanese astronomers, 天文学家 and named by them. You can find Ali Shan, Yu Shan, Taipei, Bun Nun, Bu Nong Zhu, Taiwan, and many other asteroids out there in space. And the latest one is an asteroid discovered by Nanto County's Luling Observatory, Luling Tianwentai, asteroid number three zero zero two eight six. The observatory named the asteroid Zintun. That means Sun Moon Lake in the language of Taiwan's indigenous Tao people, Taiwan Shaozuren. The Tao people are an indigenous tribe living around Sun Moon Lake. The naming pays tribute to the Tao people who discovered the lake after moving from western Taiwan to the Central Mountain Range. This name is given to the Tao people who discovered the lake after moving from western Taiwan to the Central Mountain Range. This name is given to the Tao people who discovered the lake after moving from western Taiwan to the Central Mountain Range. The asteroid Zintun is 1.3 kilometers in diameter and has an orbital period, 绕着太阳公转 of almost four years. Who knows? Maybe you can discover an asteroid and name it too. Going global. 英国开始人造红血球的临床实验 Lab-grown red blood cell trials start in the UK. Blood transfusion, 输血 has always been important in the medical field. They are needed for diseases, surgery, dialysis, 洗肾 and many other medical conditions. That is why blood banks and hospitals are always encouraging people to donate blood for people with a rare blood type, 罕见血型 Getting blood can be a lot harder than expected. The lab-grown red blood cells are grown from stem cells, 干细胞 from donors. There are two potential advantages of using lab-grown blood. First, patients with rare blood types who require regular transfusions will not have to worry about the shortage of blood. Second, regular red blood cells have a lifespan of about 120 days. Lab-grown blood cells are all fresh. Therefore, they should perform better and last longer. Currently, two healthy volunteers have been transfused with the lab-grown blood cells. 目前已经有两位健康的志愿者被输送人造红血球 No negative side effects have been reported. Although scientists are hopeful about the research, they say blood donors are still essential. 必不可少 So roll up your sleeve and give blood if you can. Today's feature: Lanjing 每天吞入高达四十三公斤的塑胶 Blue whales swallow up to forty-three kilograms of plastic daily. The blue whale is not only the biggest animal on Earth, but it is also the biggest mammal, 哺乳类 They can grow up to a length of thirty meters and weigh over one hundred tons. Due to their size, blue whales have to eat a lot daily. An average blue whale eats about 16 tons daily, and most of what it eats is krill, lingxia, a kind of shrimp. Studies show that whales usually feed at ocean depths of 50 to 215 meters, and that is also where the plastic pollution is the worst in the ocean. According to a study, 
Blue whales swallow roughly 10 million pieces of microplastic, 塑胶微粒 up to about 43 kilograms of plastic every day. But blue whales are not the only whales eating plastic. The study also shows that fin whales, 长须鲸 take in about 25 kilograms of plastic daily, and humpback whales, 座头鲸 about 17 kilograms daily. And some of the microplastics are not directly eaten by the whales. The plastic comes from their prey, 猎物 that had already eaten microplastics before. That means plastic pollution is being passed down the ocean food chain. 塑胶污染正沿着海洋食物链扩散 Researchers are still trying to understand the potential, 潜在的 health effects that the microplastics have on whales. So please think twice before throwing trash on the beach or in the ocean. The recap. So, in today's news bites, Nanto County's Luling Observatory named asteroid number three zero zero two eight six Zintun. It means Sun Moon Lake in Taiwan's indigenous Tao language. The naming pays tribute to the Tao people who discovered the lake after moving from western Taiwan to the Central Mountain Range. And lab-grown red blood cell trials have started in the UK. Red blood cells are grown in a lab from stem cells that come from donors. Researchers hope they can solve the shortage of rare blood type donors. And blue whales swallow up to forty-three kilograms of plastic daily. The whales are not the only ocean creatures eating plastic. The plastic pollution is being passed down the ocean food chain. And that's today's episode of News Bites. This week, we want you to have your say about food. Food is a big part of our lives, and at times, food can mean different things to us. If you were a food, what food would you be, and why? Record your message and send it to newsbites n e w s b i t e s at i c r t dot com dot t w with your name and age, and if you'd like the name of your school. Make sure to send us your recording by Thursday at noon, and you might hear your message on our show on Friday. ICRT 与教育部国民及学前教育署，下次继续和您聊新闻。ICRT App 和网站也能重复收听。More local and international news next time on News Bites, brought to you by the K-12 Education Administration. Find past episodes available on the ICRT website and app.